From a small home in Meerut, Uttar Pradesh, came a decision not everyone understood. Riyanshi Tomar had earned a seat at NIT. But when she heard about PWIOY, something clicked. It wasn't just about prestige, it was about purpose, a place that felt right. Back in school, she had followed Physics Wallow's videos to study. So when the time came to choose, she trusted her gut and walked into a world she barely knew. A world of code, logic, bugs and breakthroughs. Before AOI, Vian she didn't even know how to code. But here, in classrooms that felt more like labs, she discovered that code could be creative. That design could solve confusion. This technology could feel human. And out of that discovery came Collapse Sphere, a platform for students just like she was, who want to explore open source but don't know where to begin. With four simple sections, find like-minded developers, share your project ideas, browse GitHub repo links, and ask questions freely. Collapse Sphere removes the fear that often comes with starting. Because let's face it, the first time you open GitHub, it feels less like a code platform and more like you have accidentally hacked into NASA. Yanchi wanted to change that to make sure no beginner ever had to Google how to not break GitHub in three clicks. Built using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and JavaScript, every element was designed to feel approachable. No jargon, no clutter, just clarity. And every choice, from the colors to the layout, was made with one thought. The user should never feel scared, they should feel welcome. It wasn't easy. There were days when the code wouldn't work. Time was short, deadlines loomed, but the idea mattered too much to let go. Collapse Fear was showcased at a hackathon hosted by PWIOL. A big moment for a first-gen coder from a small town. Not because it won prizes, but because it was seen. It was understood. And this is just the beginning, because Rianchi knows what it feels like to search and not find. At School of Technology, she found more than a faculty. She found encouragement. Mentors who pushed her into hackathons, into dove solving sessions, into discomfort where real growth happens. Her journey is just the beginning. More projects are already brewing, including one that is agriculture related. Her dream to become a full stack developer and eventually make it to one of the man companies, not just for the badge, but to build products that matter. I wanted to build something real, not perfect, but useful. And now, with every project, I feel one step closer to the developer which I want to become. From Mira to Madras, from unsure to unstoppable, Yanshi's journey shows what happens when someone is given a chance and decides to run with it.